Preparatory work. The installation site should be free from dust. Keep dry and ventilated. Check whether installation tools and terminal accessories are complete. Check whether cable accessories match correctly. Stripping. Stripping follow with the dimensions of the installation instructions A. Keep 30 mm steel armoring from the bottom and peel off the rest. Leave 10 mm inner sheath at the root. Peel off the inner sheath of other cables and peel off the fillers. Be careful not to scratch the copper shielding layer of the cable. Separate the three faces and wrap the copper shield at the cable end of each face with PVC tape. Grounding Wipe the dirt on the 50mm peeling surface of cable outer sheath. Polish the oxide layer and paint on the steel plate surface with coarse sandpaper. Fix the grounding wire to the steel plate and copper shield with a constant force spring. Wrap the constant force spring and steel plate with PVC tape. The copper shielded grounding wire is embedded in the three phase bifurcation of the cable with triangular cushion cone.
fixed on the copper shielding layer with a constant force spring. And wrapped with PVC tape. Fill the gap between the two constant force springs with fillings glue and wind the constant force spring. Wrap the layer of insulting self-adhesive tape around the filling adhesive and lap the outer sheath 10 mm. Wrap a layer of sealant around the connection between the cable outer sheath and the insulation self-adhesive tape. Store the cold shrink breakout and cold shrink tube. Put three cold shrinkable breakout into the root. Put out the support strip. When pulling, the support strip should be pulled first, and then the root support strip should be pulled counterclockwise when pulling the support strip. In accordance with the correct direction, insert the coat shrink insulation tube, coat shrink tube and support sleet finger lap 20 to 30 millimeters. Put out the support strip. Copper shielding and half guide layer processing. Check the length between the top of the cable and the shrinkage tube with the ruler and cut off the excessive shrinkage tube according to the length of the ruler. Determine the length of the copper shielding layer according to the scale. Mark and fix the copper shielding layer with PVC. Pay attention not to hurt the semiconductive layer when peeling the copper shielding layer and mark the face respectively. Determine the stripping length of the semiconductive layer according to the scale. Mark and strip the semiconductive layer. Do not hurt the insulation layer when stripping the semiconductive layer. The end of the semiconductive layer is chamfered with a tour to smooth the transition between the semiconductive layer and the insulating layer. Add 3 mm to the depth of the lock hole and cut the insulation of each face. Sand the surface of the insulation layer with fine sandpaper. When polishing the insulation layer, be careful not to polish to the half guide layer.
Terminal header installation. Clean the surface of the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer with cleaning paper. Wrap the semiconductive tape in semi lap way on the copper shield and lap the semiconductive layer 5 mm and lap the cold shrink tube 3 to 5 mm. Make it a smooth slope. Use a ruler to locate the terminal installation reference line and mark it with PVC tape. Use cleaning paper to turn the insulating layer towards the semiconductive layer and clean the surface. Apply silicon grease evenly on the surface of the insulating layer. Put the terminal head on the cable. Align it with the installation reference line. Put out the support bar to shrink the terminal head and pull the support bar counterclockwise. Crimp the log and cover the ceiling pipe. Cover the logs, press the logs according to the national standard. Wrap sealant around the wiring lock crimping area to fill in the gap between the installation layer and the log and the log indentation. Wrap a layer of insulating self-adhesive tape around the sealant. Cover the coat shrink sealing tube, remove the support strip, and cut off the excessive coat shrink sealing tube. Installation finish. Clean up the site. Thank you for watching.